while trying to reclaim some used lumber I damaged my back saw this was a good husky saw which I've been using for quite some time quite a few years actually as you can see the two things happened one the teeth height you can see here and as we come down here actually I have sharpened it now it's in focus you can see these are all this this part is sharpened oh, it's out of focus okay that part was uh, this part I have sharpened a little bit but you can see as you go down see here these are all here it is again back to it's very sharp pretty sharp here it has become not only dull the height of the teeth has reduced I'll tell you why th that happened till almost here this is still okay here I need to sharpen here it is okay I think this is the back and uh, this is the back this is the back and this is the front here also it's okay so height I will not do anything actually I could have filed off and made it level but I'll for the moment I'll leave the unevenness as is only a small portion it has gone down but I'll cut the teeth as I you can see all these uh, teeth I have actually cut now I have filed I'll continue to do that so that is one thing why it happened is there was a hidden nail and this is for wood so that hidden nail I realized but I could not see the nail I said why is it so difficult to saw here but the damage was done but it did cut but the damage was done and I realized after that that I could not saw anything well it was taking a long time so that is one thing another thing is I need to set because all the entire teeth set has now become straight line as you know in a hex in a saw it should not be straight so it should curve a little bit so I'm going to manually set it now I don't have the tool for that but I thought of doing it manually but let me see how it comes well guys this is what I eventually did I first of all filed all the teeth here using this triangle uh, needle file it's uh, from a set here and although here because of the hidden nail while I was cutting a piece of lumber this portion where I have marked the teeth had gone in that means uh, the nail had taken off the metal from the saw I could have leveled the whole thing but I didn't want to I just wanted to experiment so it was not much yeah still probably about 0.5 maybe a millimeter uh, I thought okay I can live with that so I just uh, sharpened the teeth I increased the groove in between and these are all sharpened if I can get a close-up view yeah those still not the best this is the original you can see the difference you can see it has gone down here and even at the end yeah this is the original but nevertheless it wasn't even this much at least it is sharp now to the touch and I have tried it actually before setting it after setting it I have not tried I sharpened everything and then after that I thought let me instead of investing on a setting tool I thought of uh, <coughs> using a center punch automatic center punch adjusting it to the right uh, st uh, s tension I punched right through you can see the mark I put because this was only one side set one side not uh, zigzag in the sense one side uh, this way and uh, I have seen some of the saws where one is on this side the next one is on the other side alternating but this was only set on one side so I took the same uh, idea and then uh, punched it evenly initially this is not the punch I'll tell you what I did I punched it it was okay uh, it was okay then another idea came you know I had this uh, 
very old tool roper whitney this is the you can see it here it's a number five junior hand punch i do not know why i purchased or for from where i got it i don't recall this was several years ago i know this is used in the aviation industry for what reason i purchased it i don't know i don't even remember but I had this, I suddenly remembered that I had something like this. I thought, okay, let me put it to good use because I never used this for any uh, DIY project to make holes. I don't re remember at all. Uh, the the punch is very clean, as you guys know. And this is an old, this is the original one, not the knockoffs uh, that are available on Amazon. Uh, I think Amazon also sells the original, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the original one. It came with uh, a few bits and pieces, the dies and uh, the punch set. What I did is, I have actually put a bigger die. I have put a bigger die to accommodate uh, a larger hole, you can see there. But I used uh, the smallest punch. I don't remember, I think I forgot the dimension smallest punch i think it is just a little more than uh, one sixteenth i think it is uh, three thirty second yeah the the size of this is three thirty second whereas this one is much bigger probably a quarter inch or something like that i think purposely i did it that way initially i tried with the same die but it didn't work and i have set it in such a way that even when i in closed position you can see the gap i hope you can see the gap there so there is a gap there. It is almost the thickness of this uh, saw. Almost. <clears throat> almost. That is how I set it. So intention was not to punch through. But what I did on the same uh, punch mark, center punch mark uh, here, I went through, you know, pressing, uh, using this hand uh, punching machine. I pressed right through and this is what I got. This is what I got till here. <clears throat> And uh, on the other side, you can see it's, it looks like that. Doesn't look very fancy, <laughs> any, anywhere close to being fancy, but I'm sure this will work. <clears throat> I haven't tried it. I will try it now. After sharpening, I had tried it, but uh, now after setting it, <clears throat> anyway, I thought in case this gets damaged, I'll buy another one. But before buying, I thought, let me experiment and uh, do it this way using a tool that is already there only thing that uh, uh, you know I knew that such a thing would happen but then uh, I had no choice there's a small uh, sort of a protrusion like a pin in front of all these uh, bits that has become a little blunt now in fact that pin is very important because when you have a center punch mark somewhere you can feel it with that and that is where you can you know punch the hole even now it is there but it is not, the point point is gone i knew that such a thing would happen i didn't want to waste this anyway uh, i hardly use this uh, tool and besides that even if I, i'm punching i don't think i'll be punching such a small hole anyway that is one thing that happened you can still see i don't know the point is still there if I can yeah point is still there but it is not sharp so that is the uh, collateral damaged damage while uh, getting this thing uh, done so that's it for now guys thank you for watching